Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Medieval Dynasty where today we are looking to improve the village uh, but in most importantly improve me. What I could do is to improve the village is I could upgrade all of my houses to stone therefore reducing the need for firewood. Uh, currently the demand is 113.6 we have 1955 wood on us. Water is not so bad. Uh, food is a little bit low, really. So that's kind of what I'm going to work on. Now, like I said, I could upgrade all that and I could just let us build everything in time. Like, just keep the keep the population limit as it is and just progress slowly but I think what we are going to do is as you can see do a little bit of farming I'm carrying too much that is not a problem what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to buy some fertilizer and that way I can use that fertilizer to increase my berries that I've got some meat where did all this come from from last time we went off killing stuff didn't we yes so that means we've got a bunch more food need more rots we will get a lot more rots in time it's just it's gonna take a few more seasons to get us to that point so for now I'm probably gonna go buy some and that can go in there, fur can go in there, logs, why not, sticks, and that can definitely go in there. And I kind of want to sell a few things whilst we're out, so let's see what we can actually sell. Feathers, if I take another 50 of those, they sell reasonably well. Uh, fur I'll keep hold of a little bit more of. Leather, what I might do is make a bunch of... If I take 30, I can make 10 bags and we can sell those. Uh, salt, yeah, it's fine. I probably won't get any salt. And what I could do is take 60 sticks and turn those into something in here I think sorry just bugger off for a minute will you I haven't got it bought yet uh, yeah I'm gonna buy that that way I can craft 12 of those and they sell a reasonable amount of money, although I've just spent 50, so I probably won't even, I'll probably only just make my money back from those, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. And with all this money that I'm making and taking with me, I will look at buying some fertilizer, and with that fertilizer, hopefully, we'll get the chicken coop, and that'll get us eggs. Although, I should really buy full-grown chickens as opposed to um, chicklets. Because chicklets take a few about a few months to obviously grow and then start laying eggs. But they still eat in that same time. So maybe I look at buying some fully-grown chickens. Yes, and that might be worth it. So we're going to need a lot of money because farming is something that we're going to be working on a lot today, hopefully. Wow, that was loud. Crafting leveled up. Awesome. Crafting skill. So handyman, builder, crafting experts, faster crafting, cooking. Uh, it's still crafting knowledge that I use more than anything else. I don't do much sewing because I haven't got the sewing hearts yet. yet. Cooking. I We'll probably get around to doing a bunch of that. Maybe crafting faster is something that we should look at getting. No, just more XP I think is needed. I think it's just the easier thing to go for there. 
And yes, yeah, Sewing Hut is next, but a long way off. Hen House is next. Not too far off. The pigsty is a long way off, though. But if I can get at least the hen house, we will be getting somewhere, at least. So, the other thing I wanted to make was handcrafting. Yeah, it takes three lever. I thought it did. So, that's ten of those. They should sell for more than the three lever individually. And with that, I don't know, maybe we'll be up to three grand. So, some fertilizer. And what else? Hmm. What else? I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll work it out, but I shall see you down at Gostovia because there is some fertilizer down there. And then we'll come back, get farming leveled up, and go from there. Okay, so first interesting thing that I have confirmed. This has a stone axe, a wooden plank, and a torch. I know I have looted this. I know for a fact I have looted this. So they appear to respawn. Now I also know there's some barrels down here. If these are respawning, that is awesome. But I think it's... Yeah, they're not respawning. But the it seems to be random what you're getting... At the carts, tipped over carts. There is also, I think it might be further back that way, there is some um, clay deposits somewhere in these forests. I'm pretty sure I've got the shovel and clay that comes with this patch. And it looks like there's nothing here. So, I mean, it's not the best looking searching skills I've ever done, but it's fine. At least I've proven that the carts, I'm pretty sure respawn. Because I've been past there enough times to have seen that cart and therefore it has respawned. And therefore we get more loot from it. And that means I can go check the other carts. But it might also depend on when you loot the carts as well. So you can't loot it one after the other, straight away basically. I think it needs a little bit of time to reset. But anyway, where is a... Oh, you're the gift woman. I don't need you right now. I'm going to sell to you. How is life treating you? Best it's goods in the valley. Treating me... Okay, that's 250. Then we've got a pickaxe. Uh, all the spears are slightly broken. What else are we going to sell? Not the carrot seeds. Completely forgot to put those away. Feathers. That's another 75. And the wicker basket. It's giving me 90. So I do make a bit of profit. And then from then on, I will be making even more profits. I don't think I can buy... Fer I can buy fertilizer from you. Oh, no. Fertilizer or manure. So, fertilizer is 7.5 each. To those cost 70. That's 76, so that is per two. 33? Yes. I will buy it. Because that's all what we would need, I would say, for now. Yeah. That works. See you soon. That definitely works. And I will see you soon because I'll be back shortly. Right, I could hire this guy. Uh, he's good at hunting. I don't think I have any hunting slots open. And uh, now I've got two hunters. No. You know what? We'll just wait on the next person. Because I know that after getting the 10th villager, and I see completing chapter 9. It is chapter 10, obviously. Come, 9 comes before 10. And it is get a wife and an heir. And we don't need to worry about that just yet. Let's get the village up and running a tad bit. And here is another cart. Is there anything here? 
There doesn't appear to be. I don't know when I looted that one. Also, I don't remember looting that one. But I must have, because there's nothing there. Interesting. Okay, so... I need to make a bag. Or maybe there's a bag in here, actually. Let's take a look. Uh, there's no Oh, there's actually 23 fertilizer. Where and when did that appear in here? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own fertilizer. I know I've got someone that could do it for me, but it's fine because it gives me something to do. It doesn't take me too long, and I'm pretty sure I get more experience for doing it myself. So even if it's only, well, if it's 1 XP per, which it probably isn't, it's probably more like 0.5. That's not much, but it might get me the chick to the chicken hen, the chicken house. And once I've got to the chicken house, I think we're gonna start making progress because the chicken house should give us more in the way of uh, farming skills. Doesn't do it just yet. Fine. What I will do is okay. How? Bag. I have to make a bag. That's not the end of the world. Um, no, I think it might actually be a bag bag somewhere. That's a simple bag. That'll do. So, I need that to work out what I am planting. So, if we go there, go like that, and we can plant cabbage. And that is it. Okay. Well, that's not a problem. Oh, the carrot seeds are because I picked up some carrots earlier, isn't it? I'm wondering where I got those from. But yeah, that's where they're from. No, not there. Cabbage, 15. That's all I've got to plant at the moment. Okay, no, that's... It is what it is. Could go buy cabbage seeds, but I don't think it's going to truly help a great deal. And what I need to do is select fertilizer first. So put 15 of these down. In fact, I might actually purposely only carry what I can put plant so that I know that I'm planting the right amount. Plus, I've got 23 fertilizer in there, so that's good. So, 13 is what I need to leave. Oh, no, wait. Cancel. That's the wrong way. Uh, what is... It needs to go down to 23? Yes, I can do maths backwards. Look at me. Okay, so got all that done and still no farming level up. So, damn, 84 out of 100. That's still quite a long way. That is rather a long way. So, guess we're not getting the chicken hen just yet. Which is a bit unfortunate, but it's how it's going to be. Uh, what I need to do is... Mm, don't really do anything at the moment. What I need to do is start chatting up all of these ladies to get my romance skill up. And let's just start chatting them up because it's... Uh, okay, you've finished talking to me for today. Fine. How is life treating you? Uh, oh, she didn't seem very happy. And uh, now she does. Good. And awesome. She is finished talking with me for today. It doesn't matter who I How is life treating you? Talk to, really. And it doesn't make a difference who I marry at the end of the day. That's the one thing that is weird. Oh. Didn't mean to click that one. You, you get no attachment to anyone in this. See you soon. They're just women. And I guess there's... Hello 
there. The only way to do that is to have a specific person that you marry, but then it's kind of less of a challenge, less fun. Oops, my bad. And okay, she's done talking to me. Goodbye. I mean, if I bought gifts, it would get it up a lot quicker, but I don't have gifts, so so be it. Hmm, where's the person for this house? Oh, it's a dude. Well, shit. Can't chat him up. Okay, that is all the chatting up for today. Uh, yeah, I need to do a lot more chatting up to get that skill up. But I believe it's also selling as well, so there is that. What we do need to look at doing next is... Can we make anything with the carrots that we have? Carrots, meat and wood bowl. Yes. And I'm probably going to buy that one because I'm going to get a billion tons of cabbage before long. So let's buy both of those. Beetroot, onions and roasted meats. Beet three beetroots and... Well, that's a lot. And quark is... Soured milk. Okay, it's not quite cheese, basically. So what we can do is go to our uh, management. Our cook should now... Barn is missing th something. No, wait, I'm doing it the wrong way around. Uh, so production, kitchen... You should be able to make... Where is it? Oh. Can you not make it then? Stew. Ah, it's stew. Okay. So, need to drop that down. There's only two things we're making at the moment, so we might as well make... A 50-50 at the moment. Need some bowls. I think I have a couple, but I might have to buy the recipe for bowls and get some of those made. So let's take a look at that uh, wooden bowl. Yeah, because where's clay one is workshop two, which is yeah, it's far enough away that we'll buy the wooden one for now. Any we don't, any we end up with, we can just sell. We might also not want to use clay at all, but there's benefits to using clay bowls and having extra wood for other things. Yeah, now right, we need to set that as something that the person makes. Uh, in the workshop, I believe. Let's take a look. Wooden bowl. Oh, you're only working at 50% on the bucket. Fine. Have some bowl making skills now. And you also need to be making... It's not a wicker crate. No, it's a small wicker basket. No, because I'll use up all the sticks and we'll just make those as and when we need money. And we don't need much money at the moment because we're not doing much. But maybe we look at building our first fully stone house. Because if we build a fully stone house, we can move people around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build our first fully stone house. I need an, um, another axe because the axe I've got is about to break. So I'll take that. And... I'll make myself... You know what, the bow on that can go away because it's just adding extra weights that I don't need right now. 
So that can go away. All the arrows, although they don't really weigh all that much. It just adds up with the amounts that I'm carrying. And the torches, same with those. I've got a lot of those from what I've picked up. And done. Okay, so there is that. I need to make a hammer because I haven't got one. On me at least. And with that, we should be able to press E and go for wall with door, stone wall, uh, wall with window, stone. And then do that, the whole thing. And it just gets us started on that. And it also increases our building, which gets us closer to the uh, excavating sheds. No, that one. That one. Uh, planks is going to be the interesting one. It's going to need a billion tons of it. But we've already done that on a few things, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, stones. Stones are the hard parts. But we'll go hunting for all of those. And again, it gets, gets us doing something at least, because at the moment there isn't much else I can do without, you know, getting people in. And... Yeah, don't really... I don't want to get too many people in at the moment. So it's stone that I need. There will be some stone along here. And yeah, it's going to take me a while. But actually, it doesn't take too long. When it's only one, it's fine. When it's a five or six houses, it's going to take a long time if I was doing it by hand like this. But it gets my gathering skills up, so that's always fun. And I mean, we're up to, what, 16 already? So that's two walls complete. Problem is, I'm having to use my ability to find the stones, and that's where it becomes a, a waiting game. And there we go, we finally got the excavation sheds. And I just want to make one of those. Because... I can get a few more rocks. Though I've got 51, so I don't think I need any more rocks. I may have overdone it on the rock collection. Yeah, probably. But at least we've got the excavation shed. And with the excavation shed, we can actually stick that in town and start getting rocks and straw. Uh, straw is handy because it allows us to make animal feed. But it's not needed right now. The stone isn't really needed right now either. But it will be needed before long to upgrade all the houses to stone, eventually. But let's get this one done. It shouldn't take me too long. And now I've got to get through the door. Yeah, I think we've got plenty of stones now. So we should be good. If not, I've got the pickaxe just in case. And was it two? Yeah, two logs were also needed. So I'm glad I chopped down that tree because I wasn't going to because it was only to make the pickaxe. And hey, there you go. All right, I need to go and get some food in a second because apparently I'm hungry. I got two more walls. I've got the roof to do, which we will get done in time. But really, there's no immediate rush to get it done because we've just got the excavation sheds so what we can do is get a drink get some foods and go from there also pretty sure those trees have grown back now so yes that does mean that things are re well trees do respawn yes I know they do Hey, it was this one. Yeah, I got down to 10% on that one. That was just annoying me. But yeah, there's all those to make. The, the pickaxe is more for the excavation shed, because I only had one, and that means that it can start working as soon as 
we get that done. Right, the other thing is, how many planks do we have made? 53. I mean... Let's put some of this away. And some limestone, some sticks, some stone. That can go away. How many am I needing? 12, 48, isn't it? 12, 24, 36, 48. Might take 24 and make the other 24. I think that's a fair call. And food. Do we have? No, we don't. Even, we don't really have much food made at all. Why is this? Do we have the relevant stuff? So houses, yeah, it's not built. Extraction, well, you are missing buckets of water. So who's missing a tool? You're missing fertilizer and rot, which we know about. Hunting has no knife. Well, we can make that. That's not a problem. But why is there no food being crafted? We have a cook, I'm guessing. Still, yes. And production, kitchen. I mean, it's making. Maybe it will appear by the end of the day, hopefully. Uh, right, knives. Knives, knives, knives. We'll make a, a bunch of them. Oh, we had 91 stone in here. I didn't need to go off hunting so much. That's 14, so... 2 each, that would be 7. Uh, sticks. 7 fives. 5 fives, 25, so 35. I think that's right. Seven. There we go. I can do maths. Okay, so we're about done here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see whether um, building this increases it because there's no one living in it or decreases. No, it'd be increasing the wood demand. So 113.6 is what it currently is at. Let's see what happens when I put someone in here. Well, build it first. And then put someone in here. Yeah, I'm not sure who I'd be putting in here. Because I have no idea which house they actually live in. Although... So 113.6. Let's give it a second. Can we... That tells me who is living there. Okay. So let's go back in there. Still 113.6. What I'm going to do is. Move you. So. Ah. Okay, I can tell who's living there, yes. So, Ingarda. Let's move Ingarda in here. Special treatments. And then give it a second and let's see if that changes. 109.3, so it decreases despite us having an extra house to fuel. Interesting. So if I got all of these, ooh, I need, I've got the excavation shed, so what I might do is get the excavation shed up and running, and very shortly in the near future, just upgrade all of these to stone, 
and then we just need plank roofs at that point. But the plank roofs is actually harder to make than the stone walls because stones are so easy to get hold of with the excavation sheds. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to make some of those stews because they're just not coming through at the moment. So we have only nine bowls. That might be why. I think they might be getting eaten more than anything else. Then, then that's just it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 15. Makes five per, which is quite a lot. But with that, we should be okay. I should be okay to just hammer out a bunch of them. Because it doesn't matter if she can't do them, or the person cook, the cook can't cook them. It just means that I get more experience for standing here and cooking them. So how many is that going to make? That's going to make a lot. How many was it? 15. So for every 5, 75, 75. 75 bowls. That's going to last a long time because they only go down by 10% each time as well. How many? I can make four of those. No, we'll leave that for the moment. All right, let's just go in here. I actually don't know if I'm going to... Oh, I'm definitely going to be, not going to be making 75. I might just take that bunch. And all the carrots. We're not overweight, which is impressive. And then, where do they get cooked? Stone grates? No. Cauldron. Stew. There we go. I can make 44. That's impressive. But anyway, whilst that's cooking up, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. It's We've made some progress. We've got a stone house built and... That has decreased the firewood need quite dramatically on that one house. So I'm thinking if I move a couple in there, it'll decrease it even more because there won't be two houses to fuel. Obviously, makes sense. And then we once I move someone over, what I can do is upgrade that one house so no one's ever homeless like I was doing in early access. Because I had every house with a couple in, and then I run into baby trouble, basically, at that point. So yes, that is what we're probably going to do over a course of a whole year, I guess, more than straight away in one go. Simply because I need to build the excavation shed, and that will be the first thing we do next time. And then in the new season, in summer... I should be able to get the hen house because I'll be able to harvest the cabbage and then plant something else at the same time. And we'll go from there. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you next time for some chicken buying.